Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating question from the developer community. Our viewer asks, is it possible, and if so prudent, to use SendFile or its Darwin BSD cousin FCopyFile to shuttle data directly between a shared memory object and a file? Let's break down the question. The viewer is curious about using functions like sendfile and fcopyfile, which can transfer data without leaving kernel space. This means they can potentially avoid costly context switches that occur when moving data between user space and kernel space. However, there's a catch. The viewer hasn't found any definitive guidance on using a shared memory descriptor with these functions. They wonder if this approach is misguided or a valid technique, and if it's possible to adjust the size of the in-memory shared map before copying the data. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. Let's explore whether we can use send file or F's copy file to transfer data directly between a shared memory object and a file. These functions operate entirely in kernel space, which means they can efficiently transfer data without the overhead of context switching. However, there is limited documentation on using shared memory descriptors with these functions. Let's look at an example code snippet. This code demonstrates how to open a shared memory object and a file, then use sendfile to copy data. But is this approach valid? Lastly, regarding resizing the shared memory before copying, you can adjust the size using ftruncate, but ensure the new size is valid for your application. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To copy data from a shared memory mapped object, you can't use send file. Instead, follow these steps. First, create a shared memory object, then map it in memory with map shared to get a pointer. Next, open your destination file. Finally, use the right syscall to transfer the data directly from the source pointer to the destination file descriptor. Using the right syscall in this way can improve performance, but the exact performance characteristics may vary. Consider using Madvise for optimization. And that's it guys, we've gone through found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.